Hey guys, what's up? How are you? I hope that you guys are having an amazing day today. Thank you so much for being here and clicking on this video. And thank you if you are a return subscriber and you're hanging out with me again. I really do appreciate you very much. But if you're new, hi, my name is Jarrell. And in today's video, we're going to be doing a little bit of a shop my stash. And I decided to pick up a lot of Dior products for my collection that I haven't used. So let's go ahead and I'll go into that footage where I actually pick up some products with you. And then we're going to come back and start getting ready hey guys what's up so let's go ahead and do a little shop my stash i'm super excited because i don't think that i have ever done this in my channel before so let's go ahead and shop for some primer so i do have this one from laura mercier this is the perfecting one this one is the most recent that they just sent to me which is a deep blur and one so i am going to take this one right here let's go ahead and look for some foundation so here is my foundation drawer and I actually wanted to try a lot of Dior stuff that I haven't tried so I am going to be trying this one which is the Forever Dior that is still in its box and usually when things are in the box is because I haven't tried it yet. Alright now for concealer I also have the Forever Dior. I am going to be trying this one for today. Um, let's see the powder that I want to try. And I'm going to try it with the Laura Mercier Puff is this one right here, which is also from Dior. If I don't have anything from Dior in particular, I am going to incorporate something else. But a lot of these products from Dior, I actually haven't even tried. So this one right here, I know it is the bronze. Oh, well, actually it's the highlighter. So we're back in the drawers again because I actually have to go to the bronzers. Never tried it. And this one is in the shade 5. So we're going to take that. This palette right here from Dior is definitely a beautiful one. I love this one so much, but we've tried that one. So we're not going to take it out. Yeah, we're not going to take it out. It's all right. Move on. All right. So let's go ahead and pick up some blushes. Mm, blushes, blushes. I want to try something different that I haven't tried yet in my channel. You know what? Let's go ahead and take a palette for the blushes. And let's try the Patrick Ta again because we've only used it once. So we actually have to give it a little bit of more love because hello, it's Patrick Ta. So let me go ahead and just move it out of here. It's a little crowded in this area. So I'm going to take the blush. Is this the blushes? Yeah. Okay, so I am going to use the Patrick Ta palette for blushes. So here we are in our drawer where we have a lot of new products that I haven't used. And guess what I found? These are two blushes right here from Dior that I hauled a long time ago. So I am going to finally try this pink one right here. But I'm probably going to just put it on top of the Patrick Top. We'll see. We'll see how we can incorporate um, those products. So I hope that you really like the process of me shopping my stash. I really do enjoy watching those videos myself and also taking a little peek on how they organize their makeup and also what they have. So yeah, <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. But before we do, please don't forget to like. That definitely helps out my channel a lot. And subscribe to my channel if you have not already. You can also click on the little bell that will notify you whenever I upload a new video. And without further ado, let's get on to the video. <laughs> All right, guys, so as you saw, I am going to be using the Laura Mercier primer, and I've been really enjoying this primer, especially on my T-zone, just because the pores on my T-zones are so visible, like right here and in between my brows as well. So yeah, I wanna hide those for sure. All right, so I went ahead and did my brows off camera because they do take me a little bit of time, not too long, but definitely, a little bit longer than what you want to watch and I decided to use this palette right here from Dior this is the Dior backstage and it is in the shade 03 ember neutrals I'm going through the palettes that I haven't had time to film with I'm definitely going to be doing this type of videos more here in my channel because I love the fact that I actually get to shop my stash and I get to try products that I haven't tried in that purchase and I never even used. I'm using my MAC 217 brush. I always pull this one out. I'm just going to create a little bit of depth on my crease and I'm going to use this shade right here. The only thing that I don't like about these palettes right here is that it doesn't have a mirror. I'm just going to place that right on the crease 
and in the outer V. I'm not going to bring it too high up. I really just want to define my crease with this shade. And just running that shade on my lower lash, but just really staying in the outer corner. So I'm going to use this shade right here, which it has a little bit of shimmer. I'm going to use it with my finger. I'm just going to pat it on the lid. Yeah, it's definitely super soft. It's nothing, you know, too metallic. Very natural, very wearable, which is something that I want for today since it's Sunday and I just want to keep it super chill because I am going to my mother-in-law's house. I always do on Sundays. It's just what we do uh, as a family. We always get together with my sister-in-law and my mother-in-law and my husband, of course, my kids. And that is what we do. We eat we just hang out with each other, we keep each other company, and we just, you know, family gathering every single Sunday. That is what we do. I would like to know what you guys do for fun on Sundays. What do you guys do? Do you guys go to your parents' house, to your friend's house? You stay at home? What do you guys do on Sundays? I'm very curious to know. So yeah, share it down below. So I am going to take a little bit of this shade right here, which is a little bit more warmer. I'm just going to add that a little bit more on the outer part, just tapping it. And it has a little sheen, it's not matte. With an angle brush like this, I'm going to take the darker shade in the palette. I'm just going to line my lash line just to create that illusion that we have a lot of lashes. I'm not going to extend it out, I'm just really staying on my lash line. You can see the difference from one eye to the other. It's so crazy what that little step can do. Using the Dior foundation, and this is the 3W031 in the Forever Dior. I absolutely love the packaging. It's super beautiful. Here is a close-up. Really nice frosted bottle. Looks like it's going to be a little dark, but we can definitely make it work. It actually fits a my forehead always really nicely like look at that it's like pretty much the same color so i'm just going to add a little bit with my finger and then blend it out with my sponge i'm going to focus it on the areas that i really need which is on my upper lip for the little discoloration that i have and also on my cheeks so just blending it out with a sponge mm. it smells so nice it does have a scent but it's really really nice and mild it's not too much yeah and once it's blended out it actually matches my neck really really nicely okay so this dry down super matte which hmm, how do i feel about it i'm not loving it right now mm, yeah it's definitely not giving me a lot of coverage i can still see the redness on my chin and the sunspots on my cheeks so I'm going to try to build it just a little bit more. I don't want to put too much. Man, I really thought that I was going to be blown away by this foundation, but I'm not. All right, so let's go ahead and try the corrector. And this is the Forever Skin Corrector, also in 3W. So this is what it looks like. Love the packaging. So let's go ahead and try it. Yeah, I think that I could have gone a little bit lighter for sure. These bags, these eye bags are insane. Let's cover those up. So I'm going to add a little bit of coverage on my nose and on the places that I feel like the foundation didn't give me much coverage. So let's blend it out. It feels a little bit more creamier than the foundation. The foundation just dry so quickly. It was a little insane to see. So I don't know if it's because I actually kept this concealer in my collection for a very long time, even though this is the first time that I've actually opened it. Like I've never tried this concealer before, but I do feel a little bit of like stinging on my skin. Okay, the concealer I actually do like. It's giving me really nice coverage. Besides the little needle, stinging feeling that I'm getting. It's kind of weird, so I don't know if it's the concealer, some ingredients in the concealer, but I will keep you posted. I will try it again to see if it was something that I did a different today. So I will try with a different primer and I will keep you posted for sure. So let's go ahead and set everything in place. So using my Pat McGrath powder, I'm just going to set my under eyes and my T-zone. 
Before I move on to the rest of the face, I'm going to finish up with the eyes and I'm going to take this shade right here. Oh my goodness, all of these shades actually have a name, so I'm going to take Brick. <laughs> Sorry about that. And I'm going to use it in a really tiny, small brush. I'm going to just add it on my lower lash. I'm just connecting it to the V. All right, so now taking Smoky Brown again on an angle brush, I'm just going to run it really, really close to our lower lash right here in the outer corner only. I'm just adding a little bit in the inner corner just to define our lower lash. So taking the bronze highlighter and pencil brush just to get in the inner corner and I'm using the Refer 03 brush. All right, I'm going to curl my lashes. Using the Dior Show Mascara. I love this one. This is a little sample that I got. I can't wait to curl these lashes. Wow, this mascara is beautiful. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and set the rest of my face using the Dior Backstage. And this is the Face and Body Powder, no powder. Let me tell you, so many people absolutely love this powder so much and i'm still like waiting for it to hit me i'm still waiting for it to be like oh, okay and now i understand why people love this powder i don't know i don't see the big hype on this powder i'm like do i feel like it blurs my pores mm, no do i feel like it gives me a little bit of extra coverage mm, no no <laughs> So let's try it with the puff because that's what people are doing. And I only have this one from Laura Mercier. So, I mean, is it going to make a difference? I don't know. We will see. Okay. I'm definitely seeing a little bit of a difference with this right here, this method, instead of a brush just because it is a so hard press. Uh, okay, okay. Definitely I do see a difference using this type of tool comparing it to a brush, um, but I'm still, I don't know, I'm still not 100%, but I am going to buy the Beauty Blender little tool that it looks like this one, but it's from Beauty Blender because everybody raves about that one and how this powder actually works so well using that tool. And then I'm going to give you my final thoughts if this product's like overhype or it actually works. Because right now I feel like it just created like a white mustache. <laughs> and I don't know how to take care of that. So I hope I'm hoping that it's going to go away when I set everything into place. But right now, I, I don't know. Mm, I don't know. So let's go ahead and bronze our face and I'm going to be using this one right here which is in the shade 05 Warm Bronze. So I like it that it's not too pigmented that you can actually build it up because sometimes I can be super heavy handed with it. But um, it's working out. Alright, so I do like this bronzer. I think it's super pretty. It's really nice and buildable. It didn't pack a lot of pigment at once and it's not like staying in one place it's actually blending really 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 nice I don't know where it actually starts and where it finishes which I really like that very very much and yeah it's giving me a little bit of definition um, so here is the Patrick Todd blush and here is the Dior one I'm comparing it to this one because it actually it's more on that family. However, the Dior one is a little bit more lilac-y. It's a little bit more cool tone than the Patrick Ta. So I'm going to just try a little bit of this one on the cheeks to see how it works. I don't want to apply too much just to give myself a little blush, like rosiness. Okay, that is pretty. I mean, you can see the difference from one side to the other. Really, really, really nice. So just going in with the Patrick Ta. And giving myself a little bit of that glow hmm. just to tone it down a little bit though because i think that is clashing with the browns that i have i'm going to take this cream blush right here from the patrick ta on a brush i'm just going to add a little bit of that on top just to bring a little bit more warmth and because this foundation is so matte i absolutely love the way that it's making my cheeks really nice and glowy as well. I love this palette from Patrick Tuff for sure. Super, super nice. 
guys i absolutely love love the skin right now the foundation was so flat and so mad that it was just making me like super unhappy but adding this blush right here and combining it with the patrick top palette which i love so much it just brought life back to my skin it just looks so nice and dewy very youthful i love it so much so pretty so yeah all right so now going in with the highlighter the baby is up so let's hurry up just adding a little bit of this highlighter on top of my cheekbones i think i applied too much just adding it to the brow bone as well and just staying right there wow that is so pretty you know and just to tie everything in i'm actually going to take a little bit of this highlighter and just adding it to the inner corner just for a little extra pop all right to set everything in place i'm going to be using my urban decay all nighter and it's been a, such a long time since i used it i used it the other day and i fell in love with how it just melted everything into my skin it just looks so nice and natural and i'm hoping that it actually does the same thing right now so and of course makes everything last so i went ahead and lined my lips using the urban decay 24 7 glide on lip pencil in the shade uptight i absolutely love this lip liner and i went ahead and just lined my whole entire lips and filled them in that is what i'm going to be doing to my lips today this one is like my favorite as well as the Makeup Forever lip liner in up and down tan. I love that one. But the new thing that we're going to be using is this one right here, which is from Tower 28. And this is the lip gloss in the shade Cashew. So pretty, super pretty. So just going to add that on top. Oh, feels so good. And the color is perfection. I absolutely love this like brown, rosy, tones on me i just love them so much so i absolutely love the cheeks right now the glowiness the dewiness on the skin is so 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 pretty but just to talk about a little bit of the products before i end the video i'm definitely going to be checking on the foundation and concealer because i am not sold 100 percent on it and on the powder the setting powder from dior the one that everybody raves about i'm definitely going to be testing it out using the beauty blender little tool and i'm going to see because at this moment with the tools that i've actually used I am not 100% on this powder right here, which it makes me a little bit sad because everybody loves this powder. So maybe if you're not oily to combination like I am, maybe if you are more on the drier side, you will enjoy this product, but I'm gonna give it one more try, but I'm definitely going to keep you updated on these products for sure because these products are definitely not cheap. They are expensive, they are luxury, and you know, you want to make sure that you're buying something that is going to work. So, so far for my combo, skin is not my favorite, but once again, I'm going to give it one more shot. So when it comes to the bronzer, it's really nice and buildable, super beautiful. The way that my skin tone is right now, it's definitely working out for me. During the summertime, I don't think that it will actually work just because I do tend to get a little bit more tanner, but so far, so good with this bronzer. The highlighter, absolutely beautiful, so gorgeous. The blush, guys, the blush, so pretty. I absolutely really, really enjoy the blush as well. And of course, if you did not get your hands on the Patrick Ta blush palette, oh my goodness, definitely try it. I absolutely love this one. If he can come out with this duo right here, I will make you like run to the store and get because it is a so beautiful and totally worth it. I absolutely love that shade, it's gorgeous. So what else? The mascara, really nice. Make my lashes super nice and long. Really, really nice. Is it going to like fade or start like flaking on me? I don't know because this is my first time trying that mascara. So I will keep you guys posted for sure. I know the, the MAC Giga Black, I mean, that is my favorite mascara. I know I never have a problem with that one. When it comes to the eye palette, I think that this is a definitely a nice 
palette for every single day. If you already have something like this in your collection for every day, then you don't need to pick this up. So the primer has been working out for me, but I actually noticed today that I have to use it more with a dewy foundation or the stick foundations from Huda Beauty. Those are the ones that I've been pairing it with. And it works so, so, so well with those type of foundations. They are a little bit more on the dewy side, not too matte. Um, so yes, for the primer, but you have to make sure that you pair with the right foundation. So the Tower 28 lip gloss, really nice. It feels so moisturizing. I love how glossy my lips look. Absolutely love this gloss right here. Definitely recommend it right away because I can see myself using and abusing this gloss for sure. So that is it, my friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, especially if you are interested in knowing in the future which products I definitely recommend and which really did not work out for me. So keep an eye for those videos, but that is it. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your love, your time and support. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already, and I will see you next time.